This is the mitosis and meiosis lab. You should be able to answer these goals at the end of this lab. With eukaryotic cell division, we have new cells arising from pre-existing cells. This includes mitosis, which is the production of daughter cells from a parent cell that are genetically identical to the parent cell. It occurs in somatic cells. Meiosis is the production of gametes are sex cells that contain half the genetic, genetic material of the parent cell. The cell cycle includes interphase, which is broken up into the G1 phase, S phase when DNA replication occurs, G2 phase, and then the M phase or mitotic phase that includes mitosis or karyokinesis, cytokinesis, that's the division of the cell membrane into two distinct cells. Phases of mitosis include prophase, which includes the mitotic spindle formation. The late part of prophase can also be called prometaphase, but cannot be observed in the light microscope easily. The next stage is metaphase, when the duplicated chromosomes consisting of sister chromatids line up in the middle of the cell, then anaphase, when the sister chromatids separate, telophase, when two new nuclei reform, then cytokinesis, which is the division of the rest of the cytoplasm and cell membrane, occurs during telophase or after. Mitosis starts with a parent cell that has diploid chromosomes, two sets of chromosomes, and ends with two daughter cells that have diploid chromosomes. If we look at plant cells, we can see the cells in different phases. Here's interphase, when the cell is not dividing. Then if we look at the stages of mitosis, here's prophase metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In animal cells, here's a cell in interphase. Then if we look at the phases of mitosis, here is prophase, metaphase, another, view of metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and cytokinesis. Try finding these on your own. For exercise 19.1a, try to find the different phases in this fast-growing root tip of an onion, so these are plant cells. You'll find interphase as well as the different mitotic phases. You can pause this slide and look for those. And then find the different mitotic phases and in interphase, if you can, in these cells for developing fish. You will watch a simulation of mitosis and meiosis. In lab, we would be using different materials. Before the video, you'll see that the chromosomes are represented by pop beads. You'll see four chromosomes represented by pop beads here. These two chromosomes are called a homologous pair. They have similar shapes and sizes, and they have the same types of genes running along the chromosome. And then these are homologous chromosomes as well. The chromosomes in red represent those that were given by the father are called parental chromosomes. 
while the chromosomes in yellow represent the chromosomes from mom and are called maternal chromosomes. The beads represent different genes along the chromosome. During the S phase of interphase, the chromosomes are going to be duplicated. And we have four duplicated chromosomes here. We still have homologous pairs, but each chromosome is now a duplicated chromosome consisting of chromatids and a duplicated chromosome. Both chromatids are referred to as sister chromatids, which are identical. The sister chromatids are connected to each other at the centromere. Chromosomes will exist in this state from S phase of interphase to anaphase and mitosis. In anaphase, the chromatids will separate. Then in meiosis, the chromosomes will exist in this state from the S phase and in interphase to anaphase 2 in meiosis. You will watch the video. The first part is about meiosis. As you're watching this, you'll be completing the exercises and questions in your manual. You'll need to draw each stage on page 159. Moving on to meiosis. Meiosis reduces the number of chromosomes so that the daughter cells have only half the genetic material or one chromosome from the homologous pair in each of the final daughter cells. There's two rounds. Meiosis I reduces the chromosomes while meiosis II separates the sister chromatids. So in meiosis, we start off with a diploid cell, but end up with haploid cells that have half the number of chromosomes as the diploid cell. The second half of the video that you watch will be about meiosis. Answer any questions in the manual over meiosis using that video. Remember that for a homologous chromosome pair, we have maternal chromosome and a paternal chromosome. They have similar size and gene composition, but may have different alleles or gene forms. During prophase one of meiosis, an event called crossing over can occur as the homologous pairs connect or synapse and sister chromatids exchange genetic material, which includes genes. In your manual for, fig for figure 19.3, you will identify homologous chromosomes. Reading over the activity, please label the chromosomes on page 169. The following slides take you through steps number three to number seven of exercise 19.4. Please identify what is going on in each slide. After this, please fill out table 19.3, looking at the chromosomes on the very last slide. In lab, you would set up your four different chromosomes with the different genes. As you can see, these two have different alleles by the different colors. This would represent a certain phase. As you can see, there is still a nucleus. Here we have DNA replication. Here we see that the nuclear envelope has dissolved. 
the chromosomes have lined up. The chromosomes exist as tetrads in the homologous pairs. The homologous chromosomes are separated. Two new nuclei reform. And two new cells form. We have the second stage going on here. The sister chromatids are separated. New nuclei form. And four cells, four daughter cells, are the result. 